needed more time. I, I really had a lot to tell them, but I wasn't given enough time to speak. And um, I would have made it, made it clearer how I, I, I'm, I'm planning to eradicate poverty, eradicate it totally. I want to eradicate poverty and elevate the lives of those less privileged. I have good plans on how to achieve. We are still talking to Nigerians, so you can tell us that. Oh my God, uh, please Nigerians, I want you to realize that this is your turn. Emileko, that is my... <laughs> Emileko. My Emileko. That is the time for Nigerians, especially the less privileged people. If for any reason I'm giving contract in the, in the ministry, I'm assuring you that this time around, there is no more time for the elites, the rich get richer. And uh, our principal said, the president of the country said he will kill all the baboons. I'm going to join him to kill all the baboons so that everybody will be part of this country. No favoritism, no all those rubbish that they used to do. They will tell you, you bring a, a, when you're rich, that's when you can get something to do. When you're not rich, like all of you are with me, I am not rich, then you can't get anything. Then this time around, the barrow pusher will get a contract to move block. From this, for this, in the site where they are doing contracts, and it will be a contract to him. He will have a contract paper just to move the blocks, and that will give him enough opportunity to make something and feel like a Nigerian. And I believe strongly that when we make these people feel they belong, and believe me, eighty percent of insecurity will calm down. If you were in their position and everybody, a few people are very wealthy and you're suffering, you can't even afford a square meal, how will you feel? What are you living for? You watch your parents die out of 1,000 naira, you could buy even drugs to keep them going, malaria kill them anyhow, like as if they are rats. How will you feel? So this time around, this is their time because of the kind of president that we have. This is their time and I can assure you. I am ready to cooperate with the president. He said, let the poor break. Do not suffocate the poor. I will make sure the poor. I am not begging for the poor to break. I am not begging for them not to suffocate the poor. I will make sure they don't do that. Because as far as the president has said, it, I am going to make sure that I bring anybody who tries to do it to go. I mean, and I mean it. Uh, very, very well. So, do you have a preference for the ministry you would like to have? Do you have a preference? I don't believe in gender. I'm sorry to say this to you. I don't believe in gender. Everybody is supposed to work hard. If you want a position, go out there and fight for it. That is what I mean. Where the gender works is only in the house, where you know you're under your man as a woman. But when it comes to outside, you have to fight. Nobody will carry anything and give to you on a platter of food. What if the people don't want you? So I don't really believe in gender. I'm sorry about so do you have a preference of the ministry you'd like to head? I've been into humanitarian things uh, all so many years, and I've been into fighting for the voiceless, the physically challenged, the less privileged. And let me tell you something, people come with their crowd. My crowd are physically challenged people that are out there. Initially, when they came, they allowed every other person's crowd to come in. They didn't allow them to come in. They paid me. I had to go and approach them. Why are you not allowing them to come in? Are they not Nigerians? Did they create themselves? So I am going to see to them. Thank you. All right.